He's talking about trapping me in. Oh man, this room almost killed me last time. I'm serious. This room is nasty. What you have to do here. I think I just screwed up too much last time, but anyway. You get to the top of this little tree stump here and you want to start your boomerang up. These crystals, now there's five of them and they go all around the tree shard. But if you look really carefully, there's two that are farther apart than the others. So you want to try to not let those two be adjacent in the order that you hit them, if that makes any sense. Two, three, four, five. And there you go. But, aside from opening a door, that's going to do something else. Or, well, not yet. You know, open the treasure first. Hey, we got the boss key already. Damn. Feels like I just started this dungeon. Maybe I was just expecting it to be a lot worse because it seemed really bad when I went through it. Anyway, yeah, I'll see for myself on the map. Oh, great. Look at what... Look at what the cat dragged in. Ow. That's no fair. Oh man, I almost had you there. <laughs> Ow. This is why I... Oh, I almost died. Because there's... <laughs> Look at him jumping all around, holding his butt like Tom when he burns himself in the cartoon. On Tom and Jerry, I mean. Jeez, are you actually going to contribute to this fight, or are you just going to stand there, you know, holding your bung? Have you had enough yet? Seriously? Oh my god, that was so much easier this time. <laughs> I almost died on that shit last time. Jeez. I guess I just got careless or something. They're on me! I'm getting careless! Well, we will pick up the hearts, though, since I can't see how many hearts I got left. I'm pretty sure I'm full now. But wait, they're not disappearing. What seems to be the problem here? Well, we might have to find another way out. Unless, of course, the boomerang can kill him. Let me see here. What's Link looking at? I can't look for myself. Well, maybe I can. Oh, there's a door up there. How cool. Is there a flower I can shoot up to it? Hmm. There must be something I can do in here that I'm not seeing. That I forgot about. Uh, oh, oh, I, I, how much you want to bet? How much you want to bet? How many times can they fool me with this thing? I tell ya, I always forget to look for these. Yep. Shit. Yep. And we swing right across. There you go. Oh, wow, this is a cool looking room. What do we got? We got bushes getting nailed by... Oh. Wait, is this that room I was... I want to check out that other treasure chest because I know that's bothering me, man. Oh, well, gee, it's across the flower. Duh. How can I not have seen that? What the hell? Oh, it's a yellow rupee. Well, whoop de doo But at least I got it. So we don't have to worry about it anymore. Yep. Alright, so I think we're pretty much done there. Now, let's just back the heck out of here. Yep. I'll just jump in the water because I don't care about you guys anymore. Oh, dude, quit yawning, man. Seriously, quit yawning. Oh, please don't yawn as I... Oh, my God. Okay. So where to next, General? This is General Pepper speaking. Next we go to Titania. Oh, no, not Titania. Okay, I figured out what I need to do in here, and I figured out how to do it, too. Because I kept blowing this from the flower, and it was messing me up. You want to blow this thing over here? Well... Dude. Okay, can you blow it from here? Yeah, I was going to say, you better be able to. Because if you blow it from the flower, then you get caught inside the tornado and it really messes you up. So you can't walk around on it very well. Anyway, this puts us on the second floor, and look at that, we're right at the boss. There are a couple of treasures we missed, and I'll try to... You know, I said I was going to go back and get those ones in the other dungeon, and I never did. So, and I, I suspect that one of them was a knight's crest, so I'm actually kind of concerned about that, because I don't want to miss any of those. So eventually I will go back and do those, but... When, who knows. When I get free reign, I'll go back and do that stuff. Because I can pretty much cut straight to it. Even if it takes me a half hour off screen, well... That's what I get for not... Oh. Wait, don't they have a... Oh, wait, shoot. <laughs> Holy crap, that thing was in slow motion for a second there. 
GameCube never goes in slow motion. Holy cow. Jeez, is that all you guys can take? Holy crap. Oh, and a treasure. Yay. <gasps> Excuse me. Oh, man, that thing was right on my neck. Oh, my God. It's like I was wearing a choker. That's just not right for some little 10-year-old-looking kid to be wearing that. Yeah, butterflies to nectar-filled blossoms. That's nice. So, are we ready to fight the boss now? I reckon we are. Ready to be done with this video. Oh, wow. Look at this room. What's going on in here? Does it matter? Well, I see a pot over there. Looks like maybe we could burn it. But we would have to have a stick to do that. Where could we get a stick? Well, let me see. Let's see here. Okay, I guess that works too. Alright. Get off of me. I'm done with you guys. Okay, so it is boss time. Boss number two, boss of Forest Haven. His name is... His name is... Uh... Oh. <laughs> Link is so happy. It's like, how, how does he know that that's Makar? Like, he doesn't know Makar. Like, he's friends with him. Whoa, he just swallowed him! Dude, you can't eat Makar! What? Wouldn't you rather have some vegetables or something? Well, you are a vegetable. Oh my, look at those tentacles. Every which way, but Lou's going and grabbing onto the ceiling. Well, can you guess what we have to do here? Well, if you don't know what we have to do here, that's... Ugh. Then, then that's sad. Because what you have to do is take the boomerang, grab a bunch of tentacles and target them. Well, don't grab a bunch and target them, but just target some. And then get around to another side and target some more. Don't spend too much time on the targeting. I mean, get back, because it'll automatically target, and you don't have to be real accurate with this. Looks like I may need to get to another side. And if you need a life refill, there, oh, there's one left. <laughs> Once he falls down, get ready to jump in the middle, target him, and wail on him with the sword. And then get back away before the flower closes, or you get eaten. You get eaten. Ow. Yeah, that hurts a little bit. That's probably his most powerful attack. In fact, it is his most powerful attack. What am I talking about? Let's we'll get ready to target again, and there you go. It's really a piece of cake. Nothing this guy does does any substantial damage, so you just gotta be relentless. Well, you gotta be accurate too. Aim a little higher than you think you have to, and sometimes that's the key to uh, doing it. Nope. Took too long there. If you have to settle for just targeting one or two, with the, you know, just to, to stay safe, then that's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, that wasn't all of them? I thought that was the last one. There's one more over there. Start moving towards the middle. You don't have a lot of time with this guy. Get back out. Alright, we avoided it. And he just reattaches himself to the ceiling. I mean, there's nothing complicated about this at all. It's not difficult at all. In fact, this, I don't want to say this is just about as easy as the first boss, actually. I missed a tentacle over there. I'm gonna go grab that and get a few over here. <laughs> Like I said, it doesn't matter which ones, just get some. Eventually he'll fall. There you go. This should be it. Yep. Oh man, that was beautiful, beautiful! I love it! See you later, Mr. Flower Dick. Boom! Yeah, that is pretty cool music. Someone said this was their favorite victory music. I never really bothered to listen to it that much. <laughs> Swordsman, are you the one who rescued me? No, it was the invisible man who's always standing next to me. Oh, you have my thanks. When all went dark around me, I thought my time on the earth was over. But why are you here, Swordsman? What, did you have visions of somebody with a chainsaw or something? The Great Deku Tree, yeah. It's the day of your annual ceremony, stupid. You're supposed to be back there playing the violin or something. Ah, oh, heart container. I got no complaints about that. It's better than a sharp stick in the eye. Anyway, <laughs> let's go quickly. Yeah, let's go. What do you say? Holy crap, that does sound like it. A bunch of people told me that sounds like the music in Majora's Mask. When it gets down to the end of the third day and you got like five minutes left. Or that, that weird music starts playing. That's the same music. It sounds like it when you step into the thing. That is so weird. 